Given the recent volatility that we've seen over the past six to nine months here, do you expect that correlation to mimic historical levels or recent historical levels, or, or do you think things are going to go off a different path? No, I think you'll continue to see a divergence in the historical relationship uh, of crude oil prices to natural gas prices, uh, consistent with what we've seen over the past probably five years. And, and I think, as I mentioned before, that divergence really kind of started to manifest itself in 2010 with the increase in the production of natural gas. And in fact, I think in probably 2012, uh, natural gas was around uh, $2, while oil was, was hovering around 100 and the result of that, obviously, was a migration of investment dollars away from development exploration activities in the Haynesville Shale in Louisiana, which is a gas-heavy play, to the Eagleford and other oil-heavy plays in, in, in the Bakken as well. Gotcha. John, I just want to add on to what you were saying about the correlation between uh, gas and oil. I think that uh, over the, the medium term, when we have in the U.S. more LNG export facilities coming online, as well as others around the world in Australia, et cetera, I think that the the difference between oil and gas, uh, oil being a, a true globally priced commodity uh, for the most part, and gas being a regional commodity, start to change and gas become more of a, of a, of a truly global commodity. And then also uh, some of the dynamics around, around gas being slightly different than oil, which uh, in addition to export uh, facilities, you also have a, a demand component in power generation. And as, as gas continues to be low priced and may displace coal from an economic perspective, or coal is displaced for regulatory reasons, you'll see more demand coming from the power generation sector, um, pushing, you know, creating, creating a floor on that price of natural gas that oil may not have. Uh, it's a great point, Brian. I think to, to, to further answer the question, I think over the longer term, you'll start to see the prices trend more towards that historical relationship. But as Rob points out, uh, in the short term, you've got um, production faci uh, export facilities coming online, I think, projected at the end of this year to start a significant export of LNG. And I think, in fact, just yesterday I saw an announcement where British Columbia had reached an agreement to construct a similar LNG export facility there. So I think over the longer term, you'll see that historical relationship uh, um, kind of uh, be more true to form than it has been, but, but maybe not in the near, ter near term. Thank you.